design of a mod 16 asynchronous up counter or a 4 bit asynchronous up counter or a divide by 16 counter. Now, to design a mod 16 asynchronous up counter, first of all, we have to realize an up counter with 16 states. So, therefore, there are 16 states, and hence we need 2 power n equal to 16. So, we need n number of flip flops. So, therefore, 2 power 4 equals 16. So, therefore, 4 flip flops are required. Now, what are the states? So the states range from 0 to 2 power 4 minus 1, which is 15, right? So the states vary from 0 to 15, which is 0, 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, 1. So with this, let us try to design an asynchronous up counter. Now, what do you mean by an asynchronous up counter? Now, definitely we need four flip flops. Now, to design a mod 16 asynchronous up counter, I will use a JK flip flop. So, we need four JK flip flops and it is asynchronous. That means all the four flip flops do not have a single clock. The output of the first flip flop is given as the clock input to the second one. And the output of the second flip flop is given as the clock input to the third one and so on. So, this is how we have to design a mod 16 asynchronous up counter. Now, since I'll be using a JK flip-flop, we know that if the inputs to a JK flip-flop is 1, if J equals 1 and K equals 1, then what happens? For the rising or the falling edge, the flip-flop toggles. That means the output changes from 1 to 0 or 0 to 1. So we will use four JK flip-flops. They are all negative edge triggered flip-flops. Now to draw the circuit diagram, we have to first draw the waveforms. In order to identify the inputs and the outputs, so I have drawn the clock. So it is a mod 16 counter, so I need 16 clock pulses. Considering a JK flip flop, which is negative edge triggered, that means the output toggles or the output changes from 1 to 0 or 0 to 1 during the negative edge of the clock. So the clock is given to the first flip flop, the first flip flop A both the inputs are tied to 1 and you have QA. So let us assume that all the flip-flops are initially reset to 0. So this is the first flip-flop, output of the first flip-flop QA which is 0. Now during the negative edge of the first clock pulse, the output of QA changes from 0 to 1. And then during the negative edge of the second clock pulse, again the output toggles from 1 to 0. And then again 0 to 1, 1 to 0. So this is how we get the output of the first flip-flop which is QA. So this happens to be the least significant digit and we observe that the waveform is divide by 2. Right? So therefore the frequency of the waveform obtained at QA is just half of the clock frequency. So this is divide by 2. So this is 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 and you have 0, 1. Now let me consider the negative edge of QA. So we have the negative edge of QA. Now why is this required? So this is required because when I consider the next flip flop which is QB the output being QB and the inputs are JB and KB. So JB and KB again are connected to one, are tied to one so that it would toggle and hence QA output is connected as the clock input to the second flip-flop. So this is connected to the clock input which is negatively edge triggered. So during the negative edge of QA what happens the output of the second flip-flop changes or toggles. Now again we assume that QB is reset. So initially QB is also 0. It remains 0 till the negative edge of QA arrives. So when you have the negative edge of QA coming here as the clock input to the second flip-flop, then what happens? The output QB toggles from 0 to 1 
and then during the negative edge it toggles from 1 to 0 and then again from 0 to 1, 1 to 0, 0 to 1, 1 to 0, 0 to 1 and 0. So you have 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. So we observe that this waveform is divided by 4 of the clock input. Next, consider the third flip-flop. The inputs JC and KC and the output QC. Again, JC and KC are tied to 1 so that the output toggles during the negative edge of QB. So QB is connected to the clock input of JC. Again, it's negative edge triggered. And initially, QB is reset to 0. Right? So it, it remains 0 till you have the negative edge of QB arriving at the third flip-flop. So you, I consider the negative edge. So during the negative edge of QB, what happens? QC changes its state. So here QC changes from 0 to 1. Then during the negative edge, again it changes from 1 to 0. Again from 0 to 1 and then again from 1 to 0. So you have 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1 and again 0 and then again 1. So this waveform is divided by 8. Next, consider the fourth flip-flop, JD and KD with output QD. Again, JD and KD inputs are tied to 1 so that it would toggle and the output QC is connected as the clock input to the fourth flip-flop. Right? So now if I consider QD, we need to consider the negative edge of QC waveform. So initially the output of the fourth flip-flop is reset to 0, so it remains 0 till the negative edge of QC arrives. So during the negative edge QD toggles from 0 to 1 and then during the next negative edge it toggles from 1 to 0. So you get divide by 16 waveform. So this divide by 16 is with respect to the clock input. So I have 0, 0, all zeros and then all ones. And this is QD. So this is QA, this is QB and then you get QC and then QD. So now observe initially it is 0, 0, 0, 0 and then 0, 0, 0, 1 all the way up to 1, 1, 1, 1 during the 16 clock pulse and then it again gets reset and becomes 0 and the counting again starts. So the counting again starts from the state 0, 0, 0, 0 and goes up all the way to 1, 1, 1, 1 and this goes on repeating. Now if I have to draw the state diagram, it's very simple. You start with state 0 and the next state is going to be 0, 0, 0, 1 and the next state will be 0, 0, 1, 0 and then it goes on until you get 1, 0, 0, 0 and then you have 1, 0, 0, 1 and it goes on till you get the final 16th state which is 4 ones, all ones and then again comes back to 0. So this happens to be the state diagram. So this is a mod 16 asynchronous up counter. It's a 4-bit counter. It's divided by 60. So if you take the output, the waveform at QD, the, the output of the fourth flip-flop, you get divided by 16 waveform. After the third flip-flop, you get divided by 8. After the second, divided by 4. And after the first, divided by 2 waveform with respect to the clock input. So do not forget to like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of all the further uploads and thanks for watching.